Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Mautic on Ubuntu. Basically, I will be installing Cyber Panel on Ubuntu and after that, I will install Mautic on that Cyber Panel. So, I already have demonstrated the installation of uh, Cyber Panel on Ubuntu and you can follow this video for uh, that particular uh, installation. In this video, I'll show you how to install Mautic on Cyber Panel and also I'll show you how you can configure email in Mautic so that you can start building your automation system. Mautic is open source email marketing application and it has some of the cool features you could find in any open source email marketing automation system. So, if you call Motic as open source email marketing automation system, that would be the perfect definition for Motic. So let's get started with installation of Motic. Now coming to my computer screen, I already have demonstrated installation of Cyber Panel and we reached till this part. Now going further, you have to go to websites and here you will find option called list website. Next step is to go to manage and then you can see here application installer and you have one option called Motic. If you click on it, then it will take you to page where you have to fill the administrator username, email, password and this will install Motic. Now, since I already demonstrated the steps to install WordPress, so if you want to install Mautic on main domain, then you have to delete the WordPress files. So to delete the WordPress files, you have to go to websites again. So let me go to websites and then manage and then go to file manager. Here go to public underscore html and here you have to delete all the files you can see here another option is to go to websites and then create website then select the package owner and domain name so here you can basically create subdomain for example let's say i want to install motic on app dot in demo dot in and here you have to enter the email id so i created last time this one then select the php now here you have to be careful that uh, mautic doesn't support uh, 7.4 so you have to select 7.3 and uh, i might be wrong so let's uh, go to mautic website and uh, we'll check from there so i think there has to be requirements somewhere instead of looking for that simply search php okay also uh, let me okay you can see okay it support php 7.3 so that that's what i was telling you that uh, motic doesn't support php 7.4 as at this time so you have to select php 7.3 here while creating website itself after that if you want to enable ssl certificate and then uh, if you want to create mail domain basically we already have created this mail domain and then also you want to enable dkim support all those things so I would recommend just uh, enabling SSL and open based DIR protection. And uh, we already have this mail domain mail.indemo.in. If you click on create mail domain, then it is going to create mail.app.indemo.in. So I think that would not be very useful or if you want to create, you can create no problem at all. All right, so after you have uh, clicked on uh, create website, it will start creating website. It is not going to take uh, very long, but still uh, you have to wait for few seconds to get this installation finished. 
all right so now this installation is successful next step is to go back basically go to website and uh, then go to list websites now here you can see this uh, app dot in demo dot in if i click here on manage i'll be taken to page where uh, where you can find application installer now click on motic here uh, i would recommend not to use username admin because admin is uh, too common username and hacker tries every day to break into my website and it will also tries to break into your website if you use username admin so what you do is to make username complex or it could be your name so in that case it would be very difficult to guess so i'll be type dhiraj and then in email then password after that click on install now now this uh, motic installation could take some time but uh, let me go to this url so that i can check whether ssl is uh, enabled or not it uh, shows connection not secure let me try to connect over https okay so ssl is enabled what we got to do is to uh, change the rewrite rule or basically redirect http traffic to https so let this installation finish first and then we are going to redirect all the http traffic to https all right now motic has been successfully installed and uh, you can go to this url so let me refresh this page and here it's uh, your uh, nice and fresh motic installation is ready okay now here you have to enter the username and the password now i got this message invalid login please verify credentials basically i am entering the correct login but still uh, i don't know so what i am going to do is to use the email id instead of uh, username as you can see username or email and this is the password so i'll click login and now i am able to log in so i don't know what was the issue with username but anyway so you have to use email id just in case if username is not working so this is the motic dashboard as uh, you already have seen in pictures then uh, to uh, configure your email or smtp you have to click on settings and then you have to go to configuration next uh, here you can see site url is uh, http so what i am going to do is to first of all i will change it to https all right and then save okay apply okay so now next step is to go to email settings here you will see name to send mail as admin motic so instead of that you can type your website name in demo motic and uh, also email address to send from then you can also enter the custom return path or bounce address obviously next uh, you have to enter the smtp information here so here you will get a bunch of email service providers including amazon ses that you can use and it will auto populate uh, those fields so for example uh, if you have this gmail then uh, all you need to do is to enter the username and the password and it will automatically do the job for you but uh, right now i am going to use uh, the cyber panel smtp so i'll select other smtp server and then here you have to enter the host name which is mail.in demo.in 
then in port you have to enter 465 then SMTP encryption SSL SMTP authentication you can select login here then again username here you have to type dheeraj at the rate in demo dot in and then the password all right after that you have to test the connection obviously now you can see this uh, success message which means uh, this smtp information is correct and you can save and close or you can apply so this is the email settings of Motic and after that you have some other settings as well like uh, contact settings, form settings, tracking settings. Uh, so basically Motic is a whole lot of big thing to understand and learn. So what I am going to do is to make one video on how you can create uh, campaigns, contacts in uh, Motic and after that uh, I'll uh, further make another video so that you can understand all those settings. So let's do it step by step. So that's all for uh, this video and in this video you learn to install Motic on um, Cyber Panel and obviously Cyber Panel was installed on Ubuntu. So you can say that uh, you learn to install Motic on Ubuntu and uh, also in uh, this thing these uh, smtp credentials i got these smtp credentials uh, from server panel so let me show it to you if you go to email and then list emails select domain and then here you can see uh, the smtp credentials so just in case if you haven't created these smtp credentials all you need to do is to go to email, click on create email, enter the information, let's say after that click on create email and that's all you have to do to create email. But uh, one more step you have to do to make sure that you don't get any error to go to SSL, click on mail server SSL and then select website and in this case you have to select mail dot your domain name and then you have to click on issue ssl basically i already have this ssl issued in one of my lecture that i'll share the link right now in here so you can watch this lecture as well to understand emailing through cyber panel so that's all for this video and see you in the next video thank you for watching